Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on pie charts. It says that Mr. Sharath Shukla is a famous sweets maker of Jaunpur. He produces five types of burfis. Kokho, gogho, ngo. His burfis are quite popular and are also exported to other cities. So this pie chart shows the domestic sale and the exports. So export means the sales in other markets. Okay, and these are in units. And we are not given the numbers here. We are given conditions. So if you see if, if, and some condition, some condition, some condition. So based on these conditions, we need to answer these questions. So the first question is, if ng accounts for 17.4% of overall sales, what percentage of overall sales is of kh? So in this, we will use allegation. Okay, so how should we use allegation is, if you look at ng, in domestic it is 6.9% and here it is, uh, ng is sorry 14.6%. And in this market, it is 28.6%. And overall, it is 17.4%. So when we take the difference, it is 11.2 and 2.8, which is 4 ratio 1. So that means the sale is 4 ratio 1. Okay. So we have to find the sales of Kh. So Kh is the purple one. It is 36 here. So uh, this is domestic and this is export okay so domestic will be 36 into 4 and export will be 21 into 1 and total 5 will divide by so this gives us uh, 144 plus 21 165 by 5 that is 33 so the answer is 33 percent if the sales of kh is twice that of g the domestic sales of ng exceeds is export by at least. Okay. So sales of kh is twice that of g. So let us say the total sales is 100x here and export is 100y. Okay. So sales of kh will be kh is the uh, purple one and g is the orange one. So here it is 36x and this will be 19x. Similarly, this is 21x and this is 8.5x. So total, sorry, this is y. So total sales is 36x plus 21y is two times of 19x plus 8.5y. So this gives us 36x plus 21y is 38x plus 17y. So this gives us 2x is equal to 4y or x is equal to 2 times of y. Okay. So what we can do is we can take it as uh, y as 100 and x as 200. Okay. So x ratio y is uh, like uh, 2 ratio 1. So 200 and 100 we will take. Right. Now you can verify also this will be 72 and this will be 21. So 93 and this is uh, 19 and uh, sorry this will be 38 38 plus 8.5 46.5 so two times so now we need to find the domestic sales of NGA it should exceed export by okay so domestic sale is 29.2 okay and this is 28.6 right now the thing is we need to get these in integer formats okay why integer formats because these cannot be in decimals they have to be in integers so in order to make these numbers as integers okay if you have to make all these numbers as integers this thing should be multiplied by 5 to make an integer then only it will be an integer and at the same time it has to be multiplied by a multiple of 2 also so basically you have to multiply by 10 to make it an integer it will not be an integer if you multiply it by 5 it will not be an integer if you multiply by 5 here so it has to be minimum by 10 okay so at least at least this has to be multiplied by 10 right so this should also be multiplied by 10 in that case okay so if you see this by 10 this is 286 and this is 292 so the difference will be 
of 6. So you need to multiply these by factors of 10. That is the minimum. Okay. And this will give us the integer value that will be 6. Now next question is, given that the sales of K is 3 times that of K, if 5100 ger burfis were exported, how many ger bur burfis were sold domestically? So again, we will have to take a relation from these uh, values. Okay. So let us again take, make equations and solve it. So it says that uh, ker is three times that of ker. So ker is the purple one and ker is the black one. So uh, again, we, if we take is 100x and 100y, so we have 30x, 36x plus 21y equals three times of ker. Ker is 6.9x plus 274 y so we'll simplify it that is 21 points uh, 20.7 69 into 3 is 207 so 21 20.7 x plus 274 into 3 74 into 3 222 600 822 so 82.2 y okay now uh, further simplification will give us 61.2 y is equal to 15.2 3x. So this gives us x equal to 4 times of y. So now the ratio is 4 ratio 1. Okay, so export is 100. So domestic sales has to be 400, right? Okay, so it says 5100 ger burfis were exported. So ger is 5100. Okay, so 5100 is 8.5%. So this means export will be 60,000. Okay, now we know the ratio 4 ratio 1. Okay, x is 4 times of y. So if this is 60,000, this has to be 2 lakh 40,000. Okay, 2 lakh 40,000. Ghar burfis domestically. So ghar is the green one. So 23.5% of 2 lakh 40,000. So 24 into 23.5. Okay, that can be done as 24 into 24 is 576 and half is 12, that is 564. Okay, 564. And uh, by uh, the range, you can say that 564, it cannot be 564,000, it has to be 56,400. Okay, next question. If 9400 ghar burfis were sold in Jaunpur and 4350 were are exported, what are the overall sales of ghar? This is probably the easiest question of this set because directly we can find the number of total number of burfis. So 9400 sold in Jaunpur. So 9400 ghar. Ghar is 23.5. 94 if we see a factor of 4. So that means in Jaunpur we have 40,000. Okay. And exported is 43.5. Okay, so this is 3 times 435. So that means 30,000 are exported. Okay, total 30,000 exported. Overall sales of G. So that is we need to find for G. So uh, G is 19 into uh, 40,000. That will be 7600. Okay, and uh, this is 3 times. That is... Uh, we need to do three times so two five five zero right so we can take proportion and calculate this also we can calculate uh, like if you have to find for g we can find 19 by 23.5 into 9400 so that way also can be done okay so this will be one zero one five zero so ten thousand one hundred and fifty okay that was the easiest one of these now the last question it says the overall sales of ker is more than 11% of the total sales. So we need to find the state correct statement out of these. Okay. All right. Now in this case, again, we will have to uh, take the same equations and solve it and find the probable ratio between these quantities. Okay. Now we will again come back to this. Uh, so we have, let us say domestic sales is X and export is y so we have 6.9 x or to make things simple let us write 69 x and 274 y upon total is 1000 x plus 1000 y 
okay is greater than 11 percent 11 by 100 okay so on simplification we will get 69x plus 274y is greater than uh, we will get uh, 110x plus 110y so we will get 164y is greater than 41x so x is less than 4y okay so x is less than 4y so suppose the exports are 1000 why are we taking 1000 because for 100 you will get decimal values so the uh, x is less than 4 times of y okay so domestic sale has to be less than 4000 so like we got in another question the ratio 4 ratio 1 which was prominent in uh, this question and even in this question comes up again so this has to be the ratio and it has to be less than 4000 okay now in this case we will have to find all these percentages right okay so uh, what we will do is we will use some of the previous results and calculate for others as well so we've got that if this is 1000 this has to be less than 4000 okay. so first thing this we have already done so we need to calculate for others now if you look at this previous question here also the ratio was 4 ratio 1 and curve was 33 percent okay now if this weight is less right so this is less than 4000 when it was 4000 and 1000 exactly 4 ratio 1 it was 33 now if this is reduced this is more than 33 so this will be less than 33 okay so this is wrong it is not at least 33 it will be less than 33 because 36 has more weight and the uh, the value is decreasing right it is 4000 it is less than 4000 not 4000 add 4000 it will be 33 percent so it will reduce from 33 okay uh, and then in the third question it was uh, okay so in this uh, curve was three times okay so we did not calculate uh, in this case okay so let's uh, see the other scenarios so we will find for ga ga and ga so ga is four ratio one if you put so this is 76 and this is 8.5 so we have 84.5 divided by 5 is 16 point nine okay so 16 point nine percent that is the max that we can have so this is the maximum because this weight is less so it will decrease so ga is 16.5 percent this is not sure right we can't say it is six it may be 16.5 percent but not necessary okay it can be less also it can be more than 16.5 max is 16.9 now we will come to ga ga is 23.5 into 4 that is 94 okay because this is 4 part 1 okay and this is 14.5 so we will get 108.5 and if you divide by 5 it is 21.7 that is the max so we are getting the max value so it is saying that at most 21.7 percent so that is the right answer it is at most 21.7 percent okay it cannot go beyond that okay and uh, the is at least 17.6 so let us find for the also so 14.6 into 4 is uh 58.4 and this is 28.6 okay so total turns out to be 87 and divided by 5 is 17.6 okay now the uh, 17.4 sorry this is 17.4 and uh since this has less weight this has more weight so if we are reducing this the percentage will go up so it is at least 17.4 it says at least 17.6 right it can be 17.5 also okay so this is not correct this is the right answer so it at most it is 21.7 percent it has to be less than that so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions